what is going on, uh, fans of the channel? Yeah, another sick another second se another uh, second channel that I haven't made a second channel video, but still kind of related to uh, theme parks because we're here at the Flyers, Philadelphia Flyers at the uh, what's it? Wells Fargo Center now. Yes. They they always change the name it's of the, the rent. right? But it's had like six I'm or seven it. changes. Uh, so yeah, we're here for the Flyers. I haven't seen a Flyers game in like 10 years and apparently they're terrible this year. I've never seen any hockey game. Ever. Yeah, but we're also here because Universal just, because this facility is owned by Comcast NBC and they just opened a twosome, which we've had a lot at Universal down in Orlando. And it's and a new one is opening soon in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. So they opened the milkshake shack and I wanted to uh, try that out. So we're gonna see the game and uh, get a milkshake and uh, have a nice time and let Milk you know shakes. what it's about. Milkshakes, yes. And I get to meet Gritty for the first time ever. He's so cute. Some people find him creepy. I like him. At least we got to see a goal. Woo! Gritty! Here's what we're here for. You excited? Yeah. I mean, we, we could get this like literally this weekend because we're in. Yeah, we're not going to Universal on our Orlando trip this weekend. But uh, this is cool. So it seems like they've, they've given the best ones probably from Universal in Orlando. I'm a little disappointed they don't have the, uh, the, uh, the coffee one. Yeah, they need that one. Yeah. Like, Cause that thing has saved my life on Universal trips so many times. I never had that one. Oh, it's so good. But yeah, I figure like late night games, like that would be a good buzz for people. Yeah, yeah. That one in front of the red velvet, but like, that's so red velvet. Right, or or you could get, get rid of the brownie or the yeah, chocolate the times five. Food. Right, because they're both kind of chocolate. Thirty-four fifty-four. Yeah, So it's been like five minutes. It was quick. They're really, they, I think, chose the ones that are really easy to make. And I think they might be take, not as detailed as the ones are landing. All right, so we got the strawberry shortcake, right? And the uh, it's mint. So got thin mints in there. The Andy's Thin Mints and uh, I, I'm guessing mint ice cream inside of Oreo, so Oreo cookie, and then yeah, and then you got a cheesecake on top here and a chocolate covered strawberry, which I'll take a little nibble of and you can have the rest. And uh, you got the same uh, souvenir cups that we have like five of in our cupboard we've never used, and we'll have another two more. But uh, this is great. You right? excited to eat it? Yeah. Paper straws. Paper straws, but that's that's how it is at Universal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. We're going to try to make it back to our seats and give it a try and we'll let you know how it is. It was uh, about $35 for both of these. Yeah, so I think a little bit more expensive than Universal, but not by much. Just a little bit. So. But they're like downgraded, so that's kind of. Yeah, but they're also making them really fast, which they is are. great. Like, we're going to be back before the, the game even resumes for the second period. And, like, I saw the line, I'm like, yeah, let's come back in the middle. No, I thought we'd have it to go fast. in the middle of, a, you know, a period, not during the, you know, the... Intermission. Intermission, that's the word. So, perfect. The assist number 17, Jack McGillan, along with number 24. They projected Nap the, the, the hockey rink. That's so cool. Like, it makes sense. It's a big white space. It makes more sense than a stupid Disney castle. No. <laughs> Smoke to the fire! No. That was really cool. 
I had no idea. I would have lost the last, uh, boy. The game is now over. <laughs> well, it's the four seconds left. It's done. Have a good time, though. What did you think? Yeah, I like the pedal on the baseball game. Yeah, it's a lot, it moves a lot faster, there's a lot more reaction. Yeah, nice big breaks, all that stuff. What'd you think of the milkshake and everything? It's good. Um, it's better at Houston, but we're being in Philly, it's nice. I actually like the milkshake part better. I like the Oreo cookie thing I had. That was good. That was so good, yeah. Because it tasted like the ones you can get in the store, yeah. but with the mint in the side. And your chocolate covered strawberry was good. I, I thought the milkshake, the flavors in the milkshake came out a lot better. I thought the, the so strawberry and the mint were a lot more... Flavorful, yeah. Um, I think it was done a little bit more rushed, but I think that's just what you had to do with this kind of facility. You got a, you got a very short period of time to pump out a lot of them. So, and no one wants to wait a long time when you want to get back to the game. So it makes a lot more sense. And it was fun watching them make it. Yeah, and they, and I'm pretty sure they're Mark employees, but they had them dressed up with the, yeah. do some the stuff that you would see down in uh, in uh, Orlando, which is really great. You're going to see how this works. Yeah, I mean, it really looked good. I was just selling it. All right, so that, that's it. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, we only paid 35 bucks for the game and 35 bucks for a milkshake. So, yeah, I, I, you know, they're $15, but when you're paying $8 for nachos and stuff like that, I, I don't think if you're paying like twelve fifty for a beer. I feel like that's not that out of the ordinary for a sports facility. So, I think we'd come back more often for, for the milkshakes and for the Flyers games. They're fun. What about what else do they do here? Concerts, uh, basketball, but no. Yeah. All right. All right, thanks. This has been Alex for the Coaster Spot. If you, if you want to see Coaster content, be sure to subscribe for that. If you like some of the non-Coaster stuff we do, we always do that, and eventually there'll be a second channel someday. But uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.